Hello everybody, Reggie Tam here and today we're going to be doing some 25 rail snap on fast forward. So the bounty I placed on my head for the last video is now off. Um, the reason I'm doing this today is I missed making videos last week. I only really want to make videos in this like highlight format that I've been doing because I quite like it. I quite like the format. It seems quite popular. So it's first in a choice of like not making videos and um making them i'd rather make them um i'm not going to play these games other than when i'm making videos but um yeah i'm just going to keep a few bob on there make some videos um yes we're going to get started shortly we've got about an hour and 20 minutes for england to play their first world cup game against iran uh, so i'm probably going to play for like an hour and 20 minutes but to be honest with you i'm not that fucking asked about this world cup uh, it's in the middle of December, uh, middle of, sorry, winter, middle of the season. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just, it's all highly unsatisfactory, isn't it? Then you've got England. I'm not at all happy with Gareth Southgate. I think he's a shite manager. I'm not happy with Harry Maguire. I'm not happy with Mason Mount. I'm not happy with Raheem Sterling. All the players that, you know, he's probably going to go with, even though their they're form this season is shit. Jordan Pickford... I mean, I suspect he's going to start with Pickford when um, the lad at Newcastle, whatever he's called, uh, he's just been having like a fat pop, been having a far better season than Pickford, but we know he'll probably start with Pickford. Um, Maguire might start when he's been having, he's had an awful season and Tamori's not even in the fucking squad. Get fucked. Um, you know, there's a chance that Mount and or Sterling might start when both are in, like, dreadful form for Chelsea, but he'll just pick one or both of them anyway. It's like, yeah, just fuck off, Gareth. Fuck off World Cup. Just, yeah, just fuck off, the whole thing. So I might even play a longer session because I'm just not that asked. Not that asked about the World Cup. Not that asked about England, to be honest with you. I haven't been asked about England in a major tournament probably, probably for nearly 20 years now. Just don't give that much of a fuck anymore. I don't have a lot of national pride. Um... I mean, I live in England. There's not an awful lot to be fucking proud of right now um, about England on many, many levels. A lot of tons and tons of national pride anyway. Um, yeah, don't really give a fuck. So, um, yeah, if you're going to watch the World Cup, please don't let me put you off. Enjoy it if you want to. Try and avoid all the political bullshit that's around it. There's been so much virtue signalling um, from lots and lots of people and then they've fucked off and taken the money. Uh, there's loads of virtue signaling by lots of FAs around the world, and on the on the day of the let's wear the one the armband, they bottled it. There's yeah, just it's all bullshit in it. The whole thing is bullshit. Um, it's it's the most unsatisfactory World Cup ever, and I doubt there'll be a less satisfactory one in my lifetime. Um, just try and enjoy it if you're into it. Uh, and yeah, see, it'll see me Boxing Day and proper football will be back. Anyway, forget that. Let's crack on with the poker. Where's me fucking buttons gone? I mean, this is ridiculous. My buttons just aren't there. Like, oh, this needs sorting out. This needs sorting the fuck right out. Uh, right, get out of my life. Uh, Raise a guess. But I'm not happy with the lack of buttons. Uh, not even close to happy with the lack of buttons. Um, 20 bigs here. If he calls, put 70 in the pot, leave 64 behind. So that's not quite enough for my taste. Going to go 22 bigs and then shove river bricks. Uh, we're all in, I guess. I just hope he doesn't have a set. I hope he doesn't have the 7 5. And he had kings. Happy days. So, no buttons, but 200 big blinds. Well, 190 big blinds. Let's sort this fucking button bullshit out. No idea what's going on here. I 
Okay, nines. Gonna be a three bet here. I don't know anything about Euphonic 84. I do know he absolutely snap called that three bet. And I do know that I'm really, really not in love with this flop. Let's start with a check. So we do, it's an open ender, but it's not really because the king's probably dirty as shit. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're certainly going to check four versus that. I mean, good for you, mate, I guess. I guess good for you. Queen 10 off. Um, I would normally defend this versus cut off. Button's called though. I'm less keen on defending. The Queen 10 off. I think it's probably a pretty miserable hand to defend in this spot. So we're going to fold it. Ace Jack off on the button. Probably going to want a three bet. Not familiar at all with mind fact. Calls pretty quickly. We get a pretty bad flop to want to see bet on. People just love to set mine in these games. Like out of position. We flop to set here. Uh, I'm going to start this with a check back with the ace jack. We have some showdown value. Don't want to get check raised and blown off my equity. What little equity I might have. Um, probably just done with the ace jack if he leads out. This guy checks back on 968. If he's checking back range here, which some players will, then we still have a chance of getting some value. Uh, if he's like the sort of player who see bets his strong hands and checks back his weekends, then this bet's just going to make him fold very quickly. And do we want to turn our ace jack into a bluff here on the river, try and fold out like pocket sevens, etc.? I suspect we probably do. Um, what do we want to do here? I think I'd probably want to block here a lot of the time with that set of sixes. You know, I think our three sixes want to use a bigger side. I think our range in general wants to block our check on the king. And here we're just going to bet bluff and hope to make him fold like pocket fours or something. Snap folds. <laughs> Three bet the ace king get an absolute snap call. Literally didn't even think about it. Just yep, I call me. Which we can derive quite a few things from. He doesn't probably doesn't have like jacks plus. Um, yeah, I think there's an awful lot of oh, I wanted to bet there. I think there's an awful lot of like mediocre shit in this rate, but then he just bets full pot. So maybe, maybe our timeout on the check. Why didn't our timeout kick in? By the way, that's really not. Why are we on not fucking seconds? Fuck! What is going on with this shit site today? Just fold, but I mean, why have we got no time bank? Hmm, king queen suited. We're gonna roll here for a squeeze on no, no we're not rolling at all, we're just squeezing. Too much dead money in there. I was gonna roll for a squeeze, but this guy's come along as well. Um so we're just gonna make a big old squeeze. And we're gonna flop the nuts on a board where he's just gonna have so much of this board. He's gonna have so fucking much of it. Um I three bet the ace ten suited over here. Gonna you know, bet this size and just like rip turns, I guess. Oh I fucking timed out again. Fuck off! That is so annoying. Why do we just keep time I don't understand. This has just been a total clusterfuck. Where's, where is my time bank? Uh, now we just lose, and this is a, the biggest clusterfuck in the history of fucking time. Yeah, we just lose to Ace King. Why did I time out? That is so fucking annoying. I don't understand. Uh, right, anyway, let's concentrate. Let's concentrate. 
I mean, how does that guy even fucking have Ace King, by the way? How is that even a fucking thing? Um, uh, we're all in with the aces. And we're rolling with the ace queen, and we've rolled a fold. This dude's cashed out his 8.2% equity, or whatever it fucking was. Uh, you were fucking idiot, sir. That fucking king queen was really annoying. Really annoying. Ra really annoying. Rat hole time. That's pissed me off that. We might not we might have still have got slaughtered anyway. He probably would have called the flop. So we probably saved some money, but just fuck that entire hand. Just absolutely fuck the entire fucking hand. Three bit here with the kings. Hoping the guy doesn't have two aces. Or two jacks. Or two queens. Or two tens. Um, we just bet, call it off here, don't we? I mean, there's plenty of ways we can be beat here. Plenty of ways we can be beat. But um, we just bet, call it off, because we just got too much equity. Now we have the nuts, which is nice. And now we're all in. He has a set. We win. Happy days. Love to see it. No idea what this guy is trying to do here, but I'm not in the mood to fold yet with backdoor diamonds, two overs. You know, if the chance is raising like pocket sixes, pocket sevens, etc. Flush draws. Now we know he hasn't raised a nut flush draw on the flop because we've got the nut blocker. Um going to let him give it a chance to bluff again. He just didn't bother trying. So I guess he wasn't bluffing. I guess he literally just had like a small over pair. Oh, King Jack off. Okay, then. I think we're about to lose 45 big bags. Your pocket jacks here. <clears throat> I had a feeling a donk bet was coming then. <clears throat> um, I mean, yeah, I did say we're about to lose 45 big blinds, so I guess let's do it. I mean, what's he got here? Like, uh, I mean, we're just so fucking beat here, aren't we? But, oh, I don't fucking know. This feels bad to fold. It feels bad to call. We saw some. We got a minute time bank, which is nice at least. Uh, <clears throat> I think this guy's probably just got on like ace queen. I'm just not folding to this cunt now. Just not doing it. King queen. That was bad. That was bad. <clears throat> this 
a limp called 5x um, I guess we check back our ace nine I guess we see back our royal flush draw and I guess we ignore the telephone <coughs> Royal flush. We have a royal, the royalest of flushes. Oh, we've been check raised with the royal flush. Jesus Christ, I have just ejaculated from a flaccid penis. Um, this is remarkably exciting possibly the most exciting moment on the channel ever and we've got top set over here fucking sweet jesus i've just come twice i have just come twice through a flaccid pin oh and well, now we've just got nothing now we're just not going to get paid over here with the eights we're all in with the royal flush and we get a four but fuck me that was exciting that was fun. <clears throat> Flopping top pair with the ten nine. Getting the call. <laughs> We want to check this turn. It's kind of too thin to bet, I think. Too strong to fold, too thin to bet. He comes with a relatively big bet. We have a pretty comfortable call. And it's a Diamond River. That's probably going to um, stop us in our tracks. We might end up folding the best hand here, but... People just don't bluff in these games too they very often. And we just win. We just win. King Queen of Diamonds. Doesn't find the bet. Nut blocker. Doesn't find the bluff. Okay, so this guy finds a donk on the turn. Um, don't think we want to race here. And we now we can't race the river. What do I think this guy's got? And we don't get caught by much worse King X, do we? And what can we get value from? The flush has got there. I don't think we have a value bet here. Do not think we have a value bet. King eight, ace ten. Ten deuce. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't think we missed value there. Maybe we did against that player if they're defending that hand, but generally speaking, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that check out was a bit weak. But, um. Yeah, I wasn't sure what we like, got value from, from like normal rages. Probably a bit weak though. Wrong. Could be very wrong. Uh, not going to matter now anyway, because we completely break the flop. I mean, this guy's just giving up. He might have ace king though. We might have the best hand here still. I don't think we need to turn our hand into a bluff. Calling here with all our backdoor potential. I think this is a turn card. We just get to lead. And now we have a value bet with that. I just hope he doesn't have ace king. That he does. I think he probably bets ace king on the river. Leading our 
We just did such a good card for us to lead here. The eight, the club, etc. We river the nut flush. Just kind of massively stink to get raised here. But I think we do have a very comfortable bet fold. Although we do literally only lose to like say maybe pocket jet wing, what's this? We're all in. Did we get cold over here? Don't even know. Um no we didn't. Resume the hand. Lose the hand. Get our rattle and shoot out over here. We'll play this hand out first. Um Nobody three bet bluffs out of the big blind, so ace queen could be in trouble here, but we call. No reason to bet. Okay, let's just hope the guy doesn't have ace king. He bet that very quickly. I mean, we have to call river if he bets. He doesn't bet. I mean, we lose to literally ace king here, don't we? We might get called some ace jack, etc. If we price it right, ace king. What a surprise! What a surprise! So we're going to sit out next blind at all tables. Uh, we've been playing for. An hour and ten minutes and the football is about to start so I can like edit this video up whilst having a football in the background not giving a fuck about it. Feels like my stats are gonna come out pretty fucking nitty in this session. Not through want of trying. I've been trying to play decent ranges. But um yeah, just doesn't feel... I mean, who knows? I've, I've thought this before and I've started to come out pretty decent. But it feels like we're going to be have a V-pip of like around 20% tops. We'll find out in a moment when we enter the holder manager section. You can't have holder manager open when you're playing on uh, party poker, so really is guesswork. Unless something goes wrong in the next minute or so. Um, I'm going to roll here for a 3-bet, it didn't hit it. Um, maybe that's a pure 3-bet, I don't fucking know, but I'm not, I don't. Um, yeah, who knows? Who, feels like we've made maybe a buying in a bit that session, and it feels like my VPIP's been around 20, so I guess we'll find out in a moment um, how accurate that was. So here we are in the holder manager section, we've imported the hands from that session. Um, let's have a look how it went. $31, that's pretty nice. Ran over EV. Cool. Twenty-one nineteen. pretty solid. A bit on the nitty side maybe, but solid enough. Yeah, we didn't have many three-bet opportunities, it seems. Or many hands to, to, to three-bet. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with how the month's going. Um, over the weekend, I played a little bit of 50 nil on the soft eye poker skin I play on. It went well until last night when it didn't go so well, but never mind. Overall, really happy with how that little, that little experiment went. I'm not sure I'm going to stay playing that high. I'm not super comfortable playing high stakes. I'm just an old-fashioned, old-school nit, but it went well. We'll take it. We took a little. We had a little shot. We had a little gamble, and it paid off. Um, here we are with the graph for the month, up close to 800. Um, if we include a rate back, we're up $900 for the month, which is exceptional. Really, really happy with that. Really happy where my game is, to be honest with you. Um, it's going well. I think I'm playing about as well as I've ever played. I feel as 
sharp as I've ever felt. Of course, I'm not. I'm still missing loads of spots. Um, you know, I, I suspect I probably still pay off a little bit too much. Um, I suspect I still miss a little bit of value here and there. I know I'm not finding as many three bets as theoretically I should. Um, there's still room for improvement, but I, I think my game is in in the best shape it's ever been in. Never, regardless of that, I think um, because of the like the work of putting since the summer into my game it's grown in confidence with my own game but also i think like i used to think the regs were way better than they were because they were just better than me um so i overestimated like well first of all i overestimated how well i was playing when i wasn't playing you know anywhere near as well as i as, as like i can and then i felt like the, the regs were better than me so because i thought i was better than i was i thought the regs were there better than they were but i said to put i mean on the work in and it's mostly been in pre-flop that fucking phone again that'll have to wait a minute it's doing my fucking nothing um i know it'll be it'll be mother wanted to talk about the england team um i'll, I'll ring her back in a minute when we've finished i'm just gonna wait for her to stop she's pretty persistent the phone might ring a while there she goes she stopped now i'll ring her in a moment please don't think i just ignore mother i don't but she does tend to fall an awful lot when i'm making videos so yeah i think like i was i wasn't back in like before i started putting the work in i i wasn't as good as i thought i was and the regs weren't as good as i thought they were so i'd like a pretty poor perspective on the games and where I stood in them. Now I've put some work in it. It's been mostly like on pre-flop stuff and a little bit on post-flop stuff. Um I'm beginning to realise fuck these regs are pretty shit. They just most of them are just fucking massive nits. Bigger nits than me actually. Um you know now I'm seeing what my numbers are coming out at, my stats are coming out at. Um and this is this would be a good example of it like where i'm at now it's 22 18 with an eight percent three bet that's about who i am uh, and most regs are nittier than that then um, maybe they get around the 22 v paper that the average the pool three bet only three bets like six percent six and a half percent in the put in the games i play um so Players I used to think, well, that fucking this guy's pretty good. He's, he's got pre-flop nailed pretty well, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're pretty decent regs. Actually, they're not. They're just fucking nits. I just didn't understand, you know, how nitty they were because I didn't really know what um, good pre-flop ranges, good solid pre-flop ranges look like. I mean, this number, theoretically, because I've done quite a lot of study on pre-flop, this three-bet number should be, like, up at 11 or 12%. But um, I don't want to be that high because people's opens aren't, aren't where they should be. I mean, why do you want an 11% three bet in games where, um, where, where, where like the average player profile is like 23, 15? You know, they're not stealing enough. So a lot of your three bets are going to come from like about small blind versus button, button versus cutoff, etc. But like when you look at when I on my hood when I play, I have like pre-flop race by position, race first in by position. And people aren't getting where they need to get to in the numbers. For me to want a three bet, some of the hands were meant to three bet. You know, if someone's only opening 20% from the cutoff rather than 30%, um, or like, rather than like 28% or whatever, why are you going to three bet a full button range against them? Like, same goes for the cut for the button. If the button's only opening, say, 30%, when they should be opening closer to 40%, why would you three bet a full range from the small and big blind? And then from the small blind, when people are only opening like 30 something percent, why would you want to open, why would you want to three bet, you know, a full range against them, etc.? So, like, this number is lower because I don't want to find some of the three bets against some of like the some of like the, the the people who aren't opening correctly. And I'm not opening correctly either for the record. So this isn't me saying I'm so much better than all these people because I'm not opening correctly. My um I've been looking at my positional stats and it's not quite there from I'm not finding all the steals from the button and the small blind. Probably due to autopilot and a little bit of like um I'm quite learnt the ranges properly yet like the, the like the wider stuff i still autopilot fold that quite a lot but we're getting there we're getting there i mean really pleased with the month how it's going we played like thirty-five thousand hands thirty-four thousand hands we played for what's that 72 80 hours with uh with 10 days to go nine days to go we're, we're 
pretty much winning at 10 bigs 100. I mean, it's impossible not to be happy with any of this. Really, really happy with how the month's going. They gave it in really good shape, um, and long may it continue. But we'll leave it there. Um, I might do another video tomorrow. Depends what time I'm up. If I'm up early enough, I'll do another one of these. If I'm not, then maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, who knows. Um, I'll keep the money in there and you know just play till we've lost it or play till I'm bored. So yeah, as I said, the bounty is now off uh, because I just want to make content and these are the best games to make content in. Sometimes it'll be triple A, sometimes it'll be party poker. Uh, but the bounty is off, but I'm only playing in these games purely to make content. I'm not going to play in them at any other time because um, they're just not as good as the other games I play in. We're going to leave it there now because England are about to kick off. And, well, they have kicked off. It's one minute past one. Couldn't really give a shit about them. Um, but I just edit the video while having half an eye on the first hand. And, uh, yeah, see you all soon. Enjoy the football. Enjoy the World Cup if, if, it's, if it's your bag. Um, have a good week. Have a good day. Have a good everything. And as always, fuck the Tories. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.